Hey y'all, uh, this video is a viewer request on uh, the package building in Arch Linux and how to take a source uh, file and make it uh, into a package build and then eventually install it and maybe even upload it to the Arch Linux user repository. Uh, it's um, It can be uh, frustrating and time consuming. Uh, but start with something simple and I should add that uh, that's what I have to do is start with something simple because I'm not uh, uh, I'm fairly new to Building packages in this way from a source so you pick something very simple and Go with that and then just keep adding you know your knowledge and stuff. So first of all we need there's different ways to approach this uh, I guess the first thing you do is search for a package you, you want to make uh, buildable basically for Arch Linux. One I found was VNCSWF or VNC2, and this is it here. Okay, and there's the address, of course, and you have a Python version of download. And this one's very old, but it still it will still work. Uh, and you want to get the T A R G Z. And what's the difference? Uh, the C version only runs on platforms which support X11, Unix, Linux, or Mac OS. So it's perfect for Arch Linux. Has a VNC viewer, and it's, it's simple, lightweight. So, and both versions you'll also need to install at least one VNC server. So. If the package won't compile, um, this one uh, seemed to work. So let's download the very simple uh, old C version tar.gz. And we'll just save that in our downloads folder for now. And uh, keep this page open for reference. So the. Uh, tar file is right here. Uh, I want to suggest just to create a folder and we'll rename it to what, what are the packages say uh, take this much and let's copy that. Go back to that new folder F2 and paste that name in. Alright and then uh, I'll tab and then drag this into our new folder. And there we are. So we open a terminal in here. And uh, there is a prototype package build. Uh, so you can locate and make sure it's in capital letters because it'll find different. Uh, Iterations of this so PKG B U I L D all one word in capitals And this is the one we want right here USR share Pac-Man PKG build dot proto or prototype I imagine so I'll just take that and copy that path and we'll just do a CP paste that in to uh, The PK to a file called PKG B U I L D and list out and there's our PKG build copy and I'll zoom out here uh, leaf pads or whatever we're going to use for a text editor and we can look at it so it's a prototype and a lot of the stuff uh, you can pretty much uh, take out uh, you don't need a lot of these things when it's a simple package build but it's fine uh, the way it is to get started so back to the internet uh, where is he there and we have to copy the uh, the URL so just uh, in Firefox copy link location go back to our package build and if you can't find it just uh, do a search for source we'll just take everything uh, between the quotes delete that and paste in in between those quotes the URL as uh, so we copied from uh, the TAR, TAR, GZ, GZ, whatever you want to call it. 
Now we uh, can still refer to the website uh, for the package name, the package version, package release. You can leave that one or make it zero. So such as package name is this. Like so. Uh, the version is 0 0.5.0. 0. You copy and paste that in to where it says version. Uh, we don't need this, so I can just save and delete that. Description. Um, I used to have a better description somewhere, uh, but it's a cross-platform cross stream recorder recording tool, so I'm just going to take that a cross-platform up to here and throw that in and make that a capital A. Now on, under Arch or Architecture, uh, <laughs> that's Try that again under architecture. I'm going to type in any in single quotes because uh, I think this is only a 386, 32-bit. Uh, and the URL, of course, is right uh, not there. It's right this one here. So I'll copy and the URL of you for reference is there. Uh, I'm not sure. The, I, I guess the license is GPL. Groups we don't need in, in this case. Depends we don't need, so we don't need make depends. And probably a few other things. Uh, we can take out the no extract and valid PKG keys for now. Uh, we don't need backup or option or replaces or conflicts or provides. Probably a lot of the stuff we can just uh, delete. And you see patch. We don't need the patch here. Okay. So we'll take that guy out. Actually, we don't even need prepare in this. So we'll take this out as well. So you, you get the idea of what I'm doing. Uh, package and so on. Check. You can leave that in. We'll see what happens. Um... You might have to change this too, but we'll like I said, we'll see what happens. So what do we got so far? So we have as long as we have the source, it'll it'll download that. So I'm gonna save and close that for now. So back inside the terminal uh, in our uh, folder, uh, just type in make pkg and a dash small g, and we'll see what happens there. It's generated a, a, a MD5 sum. Okay, sorry, my mistake. Uh, there's the MD5 checksum, so we'll bring that guy up. We'll just uh, copy, cuts, and go to this and take this part out and paste that in. Uh, what I forgot to do was uh, to, when I did the make package dash small g, I had to, the two, pi two lines out to the package build in this directory, so then it writes to that. Okay, so let's try uh, the yes, safe ch changes. Sorry, let's try the make package dash O. All right, so now it's uh, extracted the sources. So, so far, so good. And the uh, third command, make package command, is just you can type either make package on its own or just small s and see what happens. And I think, okay, no uh, rule for uh, target check. So, I'm not, in this case, we don't really need it. So, we'll just open this. And the check is right here. We'll take that out. And clear up the code a bit. And let's uh, attempt that again. So, And it looks like we did it. A very simple package build. And there's your uh, Pac-Man uh, file you can install. So you just, uh, if you want to install it, you just do a, the usual uh, sudo Pac-Man dash capital U. And then start typing the VNC and press tab and you see the full path. Press enter. 
and now it's installed on your system. Keep in mind this is a 32-bit package and it's not going to be in the USR uh, bin. So locate uh, VNC2SWF. There it is. And look where it is. It's in RX11. And uh, if you want to use this, there are instructions on the, the, uh, the website on how to uh, use the commands uh, in the... Uh, in the command line X11 okay so that sums up a very very simple example of it building your own package and like I said if you want to attempt to upload this to uh, the Arch Linux user repository you're gonna have to put your uh, email at least and the license uh, I from what I gather here this is uh, where is it here and you probably want to give credit to the author and so on if you're going to upload it, but if you're just going to use it on your system, it doesn't really matter, of course, right? So that's it. Uh, I hope uh, anybody else that's looking at this uh, was interested in how to at least start get started in creating package builds. Um, I hope this helps you out. And uh, for dependencies as well, uh, you don't need this uh, program called Ming anymore. Uh, so there wasn't any depend dependencies that were needed, but if you look at more packages or package builds from the Arch Linux user repository, you see there's a lot more involved in uh, more complex programs. So I think I'll wrap this one up and I'll try to continue this with uh, updated examples as I learn more myself. And so thanks uh, to the viewer for the great topic. It's awesome. I learned a lot, and thank you. And thank everybody else for uh, watching, and take care, everybody, and we'll talk to you soon, and bye for now.